Hello, my name is Maria Miller from MathMammoth.com. In this video we're going to do some reviewing of drawing shapes and measuring and drawing angles. First of all, draw a hexagon and we're going to draw this with the dot method, so to speak. I will draw six dots over here. Just randomly anywhere I please. One, two, three, four, five and six. And then I connect the dots. There is my hexagon now ready, and next we will measure its angles, so I need a protractor. Okay, here's my protractor, and let's start measuring the angles. Maybe I'll start with this angle here. Remember, here's the vertex of the angle. I need to position that in the middle here of my protractor's zero line, okay? The middle point here, like that. The angle starts here and opens up all the way there. So I will read whatever is zero here, 10, 20, 30, and so on. I will read the upper numbers, so it is almost 120, 118 degrees, which sounds right because this is an obtuse angle. It is more than 90 degrees. Then this one, okay, I need to line up this with the one side of the protractor and then put the middle point here. And this time I get 103. This one, the protractor goes like this. Again, it's an obtuse angle. So it is 100 and almost 140. And this one goes from here to here. Lots of obtuse angles in this one, right? Okay, here I will change my protractor this way. And the last one. There. Now we will draw enough diagonals into the hexagon to divide it into triangles. You remember what is a diagonal? It is a line from a vertex to another vertex. Any vertex, okay? So I will draw, for example, one diagonal here. Now let's check. Is this hexagon now divided into triangles? Not yet. These are not triangles. But then I will draw another diagonal, let's say from this vertex to this vertex, and then I will get a triangle here. This line is also a diagonal, because it goes from vertex to another vertex, and it's inside the figure here. So here's a triangle, here's a triangle, and then this one too. I'll just draw one more diagonal, and it's, in, it's been divided into triangles. There, I get four triangles. And what you want to check is, if you draw hexagons, many hexagons, and divide them into triangles using this method, will you always get four triangles?